Welcome back. Uh, it's an honor to have Joseph Elworthy with me right now. Thanks very much for coming in. Pleasure to be here, Lynn. Uh, Executive Director of the Vancouver Academy of Music, and I asked you in the break, Does do you refer to for the uh, being to be called the VAM? Is that... Yeah, that's our sort of new branding. branding. You know, VAM has kind of been a little bit under the radar, so to speak. I mean, we are the, the largest music school west of Toronto uh, with over 1,100 students and uh, a recent increase of actually 24% in the last year. So, wow. But it's a, you know, it's a place that it's an inclusive environment. It's not just for the musically gifted. It's for everyone. Our after-school programs and weekend programs, we have almost 1,200 students who participate. So we're very proud of of our involvement. Now, this is something you've been the executive director for just over a year, but you have a, a much longer history with VAM. Yes, I remember uh, walking into the school in 1977 when I was just a, a young guy, uh, and I was uh, handed a cello, which I didn't really even know what it looked like, to be honest with you. And uh, lo and behold, it became my, my life's passion. And how did that happen? Well, I think, you know, music is just something that uh, for those that um, are, are gifted and talented, it just becomes part of your, your persona and, and it becomes, uh, you know, a lifelong pursuit. Uh, music is not something that you stop when you res attain a certain level. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a lifelong uh, discipline and pleasure. Um, and you said that the school itself is not just for the musically gifted. Now, I know you went on to uh, Juilliard and... Uh, schools that we recognize are very competitive to get into. You yes. have to be very talented to get into those schools. And I think that a lot of people would think the same about the Vancouver Academy of Music. Well, I, you know, music is really a vehicle for personal development. I mean, there's countless uh, research that proves the academic association with, you know, academic success in music. But really, it's, it's, type, it's more to do with a holistic approach to personal development improve communication skills, and just a sense of the importance of arts and culture in our society, which is so, so important. Absolutely. Now, you were young when you started, but uh, I was shocked when you said you, you have students there as young as three months? Yes, we have early childhood programs from three months of age to, we have adult learning programs, so it's a cross-generational ethos at the school, which is really exemplified by our three um, uh, soloists who are returning to, to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. uh, they're studying, they're uh, graduate students at, at Yale University, Juilliard, and the Guildhall School in London. And so they're coming back next week for our Beethoven celebration where we have, anytime you program Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, there's considerable forces involved. So we have over 150 members of our symphony orchestra, the Vancouver Bach Choir, uh, four outstanding um, soloists from the Vancouver Opera Young Artist Program. And it's creatively led by our wonderful conductor, Maestro Leslie Dalla, who is one of the rising stars in North America. Wow. What made you decide to put this concert on? Well, it was just so incredibly um, brazen and, and larger-than-life concept. And uh, Leslie Dalla, who's a close friend of mine, we said, do you think we could pull this off? What an amazing challenge. And we just sort of jumped in head first, and, and everything fell into place with support from the Vancouver Bach Choir, Vancouver Opera, um, you know, private donors who have, who have stepped up to support this endeavor. So it's been a real collaborative effort in every sense. So for somebody who uh, maybe doesn't have a lot of musical background or a lot of knowledge about music, what would they be able to get out of coming to this concert next week? Well, uh, the, the bulk of our patrons are actually first-time visitors to the Orpheum Theatre, first time hearing live symphonic music. Um, simultaneous to the performance, we have uh, musical activities for youngsters. So if, you're, if your little one is getting fidgety and needs a bit of a reprieve within the Orpheum Theatre, you can take them to various sections where they can engage in, in learning experience and then bring them back, of course, to hear the big O to Joy finale. So uh, we're very mindful of the fact that our audience is a, uh, a, a younger audience, and this is really about exposure. Very good. Where can we get tickets? Uh, you can get tickets online at uh, vam.ca, vancouveracademymusic.com, uh, and uh, the tickets are priced at $10 for adults and $6 for, for students. Very so there's accessible. A great value proposition there. Absolutely. Now you're going to play for us on the cello. What are you playing for Yes, us I'm today? going to play an excerpt, the famous excerpt from Beethoven's Ode to Joy Symphony, instantly recognizable. 
and hopefully I'll do a good job. <laughs> well, I heard you practicing or getting the sound check done earlier is fantastic. So jo Joseph, an honor to meet you. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Uh, and there is all of the uh, ticket information. We have a pair of tickets to give away uh, to this fantastic concert next weekend. If you can go to the concert at the Orpheum on the 18th at 7.30, please email us at weekendnews at globaltv.com and good luck. All right, let's check in with Wes and learn a little bit more about our small town today, Wes. Thanks, Lynn. And just before we get into our small town today, just a reminder that our small town segment will be at different time tomorrow because of uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, but back to today, we are featuring Pemberton, a community that is about uh, 35 kilometers north of Whistler on Highway 99. And our first photo is uh, actually a picture of the welcome sign as you're driving into town. So thank you to Ross Krogan for this photo. Gord Bell sends us a picture of one of the many weddings that are hosted at uh, the Meadows at Pemberton Golf Course. What a nice setting for a celebration. And here's another photo with Mount Curry in the background. This one is from Jessica Ross. Took this from her living room window. Mountain biking, a very popular activity in the summertime. Uh, great views from the top as well. This one is from Ashley. And Tina teaches at a yoga studio in Pemberton. It looks like she doesn't even mind doing it in the snow <laughs> right by the scenic mountains. This one is from Lawrence. He took this during the Pemberton Festival. Uh, the airport was actually used for RV parking during the festival. And the next one is from Danielle Menzel. This one is uh, of Birkenhead Lake. It looks like a great day to try out that slide. Here's another lake shot. This is Marriage Lake up uh, on Mount Curry. Sally Gray took this photo about a month ago, but she says it's probably covered in snow now. Desi sent us uh, the next photo. This is from North Arm Farm. He says that when he was there in October, there was a horse carriage that took him to the pumpkin patch of the farm. And speaking of pumpkins, look at these ginormous pumpkins. This is is uh, a picture from Heidi Keim Laberher, and uh, she's on the Keim farm. And look at them, they're just huge. These are grown by Heidi. Jennifer is up next. This one is of One Mile Lake, and Jen says that there's a boardwalk around the lake. People also come here to do canoeing, go swimming, and even dragon boating. The team actually practices there in the area. Sarah. Uh, shows our last photo this hour, and this is a picture of her dogs having a good time playing in the Lillooet River. Thank you again to all of the great photos. I'm sorry we couldn't get to all of them today. We've had such a great response today. Next weekend, we are accepting photos of Hornby Island and Prince George. You can send them to weekendnews at globaltv.com. Lynn. All right, thanks, Wessa. And now we have Joseph Elworthy, the executive director of VAM, going to be part of a huge concert uh, to, uh, for Beethoven next weekend. Uh, he, he is performing Ode to Joy. <laughs> Oh. 